Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick overview and review of the Steel FS91R weed eater. This was actually a Christmas gift from my wife and I'm pretty excited about trying it out even though it's of course the dead of winter <laughs> and there's really not a whole lot of grass but we've, we're going to fuel it up, kind of do a quick overview of it and uh, give it a try. Let's take a look at what come in the package. So came with a shoulder strap which I probably I doubt I'll use. I might. I don't know. I may attach it at some point but it attaches here. Of course it comes with the instruction manual for people that like to read instructions. I try to make it a last resort. And let's see what we got in here. Ah, safety glasses. Goofy looking safety glasses. All right, we got an adjustment wrench for, looks like the, probably the spark plug. Uh, I think this might be for the handle, for adjusting the handle on the, along the shaft. Not sure what that's for. And that's a little tweaker screwdriver for adjusting the throttle controls and such for idle and all that good stuff, so cool. Course we'll we'll open these for the sake of being safe when we try it out. So I really like the loop handle. I think this is about the only difference between the 91 and the 91R is the 91 actually has the long handles that resemble like bull horns and the 91R has the loop handles, so. Got the throttle control, it's got like a safety on the throttle. The off button is actually you push it down and hold it and then it releases back so it's not, where you're trying to crank it and end up realizing that it was off forever. I hate that. I really like the throttle cable is actually protected so it's not exposed. That's awesome. Looks like the choke same thing it's got a it's kind of protected we'll push it in to make the adjustment for choke of course the primer bulb the gas tank on this thing is huge i think i read it was uh, 24 ounces so it holds quite a bit of fuel which is awesome moving down to the trimming end i like this it's not it's like it's got a clutch so it's not turning the engine when you're turning the the string head here that's that's pretty cool of course it's got a nice sharp cutter for the string so it seems to be a really well built saw i really like it it's uh supposed to be more of like a landscaper's professional type uh weed eater so let's put some fuel in it and give it a try so the fuel i'm using today is a pre-engineered ethanol free it's a very expensive fuel. It's like 20 bucks for a gallon. Um, I use it when I'm not gonna be using the equipment very much. That way it doesn't wreck the fuel lines and the engine and everything, so. It's a 50 to one ratio, gas oil mix. Oh, sweet. It's got a, uh, a doodad to keep the cap from getting lost or dirty. All right, so let's see here. Okay, we're gonna pump it up until we get some fuel in the bulb here. So about five or six pumps should be sufficient. All right, let's choke it, let's see. Full choke. Wow. So, okay, so whenever you hit the throttle, it releases the choke, so. Wow, 
that is really quiet. Okay, so uh, this thing is awesome. So I, I, it's a little bit different than what I've always used because the ones I've always used, the head spins constantly, and this one don't. So it's a little bit. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but this thing is a man. It it cuts a wide swath of grass, and <laughs> it doesn't doesn't have any problem doing so. I love that new smell the new engine and the best part is how easy it is to start let's see if i can do this with one hand and it's so quiet that's the weird part like super super quiet i mean i don't i don't even need to wear earplugs for this it's um Definitely highly recommended. Uh, we do. Super easy to use. Very cool. Well, thank y'all very much for joining us. Thanks to my wife for buying this for me because I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. So, uh, anyway, if you haven't already, uh, we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel. And if you like the video, if you could give us a thumbs up on it, we would greatly appreciate it. We uh, we do all sorts of cool farm and homesteading videos and such so um anyway thanks for joining us we'll see you on the next video